Wrestling takes us on a roller coaster of different emotions, and the sport is often at its best when we can all just sit back, laugh, and have some fun. Well, the rock it doesn't is matter how it makes you feel. What the? <laughs> that was a good one. I gotta give him credit. Oh, commissioner, he made the rock smile. However, this might not fit with every wrestler's character, but sometimes you just have to give in to the moment, either by laughing, dancing, or just breaking from the norm. Why don't you wear shoes when you do this? <laughs> Don't have an answer for that. <laughs> Today, we'll look at numerous occasions where specific wrestlers made each other laugh and dance as we highlight 10 wrestlers well known for making others break character. Ding! Ding! Number 10, John Cena. Cena's quick wit and charm has led to numerous wrestlers breaking character in the past. You and Sable fighting? That's good for my health. Something about you makes me keep in touch with myself. <laughs> Later on tonight, you want to get together? But I said that in the set, like in the ring, man. Damn. You are not the only one! Oh, it's a running gag! John is also known for savagely tearing down others on the mic, and sometimes all they can do in response is smile. It's just another case of big things with small packages. It's called a promo, Shut kid, your and mouth, if you want John. to be the big dog, you're going to have to learn how to do it, so go ahead. <laughs> Hype man slimy in the corner holding up the championship. You're going to kick my ass at SummerSlam. Y'all look just like your mug shots. Number 9, Chris Jericho. Y2J never misses when it comes to comedy. Whether it's his iconic catchphrases or entertaining sense of humor, Jericho always provides the laughs. Hey, look at Barrett. We are! <laughs> Nonetheless, she reminds me of Baby from House of a Thousand Corpses, some weird chick. <laughs> she is! If you want to see Chris Jericho drink a beer with Steve Austin, say do what uh, diddy diddy dum diddy do. Never in a million years would have believed that would have happened, but it just did, so give me some beer. The only perros I see are the perro idiots oh. standing right here. Drink it in, man. Bring it in, man. Lock it in, man. The pain maker always goes last, man. So stupid soccer mom's hair! You just made the last! Number eight, Goldust. The brilliance of Goldust was the fact that he went all in on everything he was given. And this usually made for some absurd but funny television that left wrestlers and fans in hysterics. The first one to wel welcome you to the WWE. <laughs> yeah. Howdy there, NWO. I'm the coach. <laughs> Big kill. And we've got sausage and midgets all waiting in the car just for you. Let's go. Oh. Ah, it's me. The undercover brother. Not the perfect family. Tonight. Number seven, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Evolution better take heed! Despite his foul mouthed roughneck persona, Austin has displayed his comedic talents time and time again. I want to tell you what? I want to just say what? You got a microphone in your hand, use it! I bought one of your t shirts. A big fan of Chris Jericho, are you? No, I'm not a big fan. They ran out of toilet paper. Ah! Oh my God. That's Daddy. What were you saying? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I gotta start that. Some people claim that there's a. Rocky the Blam. WrestleMania 30, right here in the Silverdome. Good to be back here at the Silverdome. <laughs> <laughs> what if I just put you over my knee, pull your little dress up? Uh-oh. I gotta be careful, I don't want your balls to fall out. 
from getting people to crack up in the ring to the legendary beer bashes in the main event and after the shows went off the air. The people always went home happy thanks to Stone. Number 6, Booker T. No matter his role, Booker T always provides us with some side-spitting funny moments, amusing both fans and wrestlers in the process. Booker, you wish you had legs like that. Sometimes I do. <laughs> I'm just a Booker T, Booker T, I'm not your sucker, sucker. King Booker. Sometimes Booker even makes himself laugh. A parade of honeys in front of him. I don't know why his legs are feeling right now, but I know he's happy. Booker, you're taking us off track. Right? Brock Lesnar didn't get the, the beast. Brock Lesnar, uh, excuse me. The Brock beast, defends but, against Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman. Booker in his spinner Rooney routine gave countless wrestlers a chance to loosen up and show a different side to their character. Number five, The Rock. The Rock was the undisputed champion of the people and the microphone. What you're cooking smells like 100%. Grade A, money back guarantee, one big bucket, a Canadian moose piss. Do you like donuts? Get the biggest jelly donut you can find. Oh no. Night, I am the game. But I know it's old Stone Cold's fault. Your arms are way too damn big. Look at this thing. Finally, The Rock has come back to Milwaukee. Finally come back to the Superdome. Yeah, let's get a Superdome chance. While not only being hilarious on the mic, the great one had fans grinning ear to ear whenever he performed the People's Elbow, which was initially created to try and make The Undertaker break character. I believe the first time Rock did the People's Elbow was in a match where we were trying to make Taker crack. I always thought that was the hokiest thing ever, but iconic, right? And always to get me laughing. Drop the People's Elbow on this piece of The Rock also sold the stunner in exaggerated fashion in an attempt to make Stone Cold Steve Austin laugh. Number four, The New Day. In a similar vein to wrestlers doing the spinner Rooney, The New Day are renowned for getting talent to break from their usual characters in order to dance. I will never be able to unsee this. Including some names you just wouldn't expect to see get down the way they did. Hilarity always ensues anytime the New Day are around. So if they're not making wrestlers dance, they're probably making them laugh. They don't know about Weenie Doo. When your gut hangs out more than your Weenie Doo. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Tag team. Yeah. Dang, Randy. How many groups have you been in? <laughs> I mean, come on, man. You were absolutely nothing till your wife put you on Total Divas. 
Number three, Sami Zayn. During his time as part of the bloodline, Sami was the highlight of WWE TV, in no small part thanks to his ability to make everyone laugh. It was so funny to see wrestlers try and keep a straight face to avoid laughing at Sami. Doing a little dance, he can't. That's the dance you do. That's, I'm in his head doing the dance. Yeah, right? You are the biggest two of them all, my dog, as a number two stain on the bottom of the tribal chief's shoe. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, 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 there it is. He just hasn't been very oozy. Actually, about to go to dinner. Yeah, Waffle House. Hey, boys. You right? They they love Waffle House. I go, my dog. My dog. I'm right here. <laughs> That's my dog. That's my dog. Number two, Santino Marella. At the end of the Ruthless Aggression era and all throughout the PG era, Santino was the gift that kept on giving. I lost my title to William Regal. His knee to my head should have been illegal. You got served. From mispronouncing names. Fandingo. Spongongo. Sorry. Fandingo. Look at me, huh? I'm a Baptista. I shoot the lasers from my hands like I'm eight years old. Let's see how many brain cells the animal Baptista has. Twelve. That's not very many, Baptista. You have a big mouth, John Chena, and there's nothing. I would like more for Christmas than a chance to shut it. To making wrestlers break character. Let's make this post match celebration oh, even bigger. <laughs> Give me a break. What? <laughs> to just being plain hilarious. Any man who hides behind a mask is either incredibly ugly or is the Batman. You're excluded from activities with the other kids because you're a ginger. Number one, R-Truth. It's hard keeping a straight face anytime R-Truth is on screen. We used to be cool, man. What's... Eustah is a rooster from Brewster. You don't know nothing about cool. Oh, so he's about street. to lose the match. Five. We got to do something. When he's not making us laugh, he's still making us smile because of just how entertaining he is. Truth has even made Brock Lesnar laugh on two separate occasions. Stand back, guys. Leave him alone. Please chill. Chill. Breathe. You will go flying over that top rope, Paul Heyman. Oh, Heyman? I'm not in the Royal Rumble. Truth is certainly one of wrestling's funniest ever characters. What the truth is going to do in Money in the Bank. You're not even in the match. This, this is on me. Kane. My bad. <laughs> a little too nice. Tazawa, you think you can trick me by being the nature boy? Uh, the fried fish they had was pretty good, I mean, if I may add. You probably didn't put no tartar sauce on it. I got acrophobia, y'all. Here are spiders. Not one spider oh. on this ladder. <laughs> I told you. It's a right no I want to be just like my childhood hero, John Cena. And that brings us to the end of this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this one, be sure to check out our similar video on the top 10 wrestlers who actually are known for breaking character. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.